Have you ever noticed that there were letters in Krita's interface that were underlined? Well, these are shortcuts, and in this video, we'll learn how to use them. It's something you find in many programs, actually. If you press the Alt key, you keep it down, and press one of the highlighted letters, for instance, I'll press Alt S, it will open the corresponding menu, or it will activate the corresponding option. So now maybe I can press the O key to toggle the select opaque option. And it will select the content of my layer, the opaque pixels. In some cases, as you have keyboard shortcuts, for instance, for the wraparound mode, you won't want to use Alt V for view and W for wraparound mode. You're better off using the keyboard shortcut directly. But it's useful for everything that doesn't have a shortcut or that you don't use often enough to assign a shortcut to it. For example, if I press Alt R, I will access the filters menu. Let's say I want to apply a blur. I see that the B in the blur option is underlined, so I press B and it will open the blur sub menu. Then I'll press G for Gaussian blur. In this new window, I can set my horizontal and vertical radius. And you can see that on the buttons at the bottom of the interface, there are a few letters underlined. I can press Alt C to add the filter as a filter mask. I can press the Alt O to press OK and then validate that blur on this animation frame. And Alt A for cancel. In general, this C will be underlined and Alt C will cancel the effect. Note that by default, you can also press Escape and Enter to respectively cancel and validate an effect in a certain window. But here, I will press Alt C to add the effect as a filter mask so it's available on every single animation frame instead of just on that one animation frame. There's another case in which it's very useful Let's say I'm adding multiple layers where I'll have some painterly effect, maybe a mark on the character, and I want it to clip to the character's alpha. But I'll also add another effect on the layer below it, and I also want this one to clip at the character. I'll select both layers and press F3. The F3 key toggles the layer properties window on, and this window allows you to modify the parameters of multiple layers at once. You do have letters underlined in there as well. So if I press Alt V, I will toggle the visibility of the selected layers. Alt L, I will lock or unlock them. And we're getting to the interesting one. If I press Alt I, I can toggle the alpha inheritance on and off. Note that this is the same thing as toggling the alpha channel on and off. There's also alpha locked, which doesn't work currently with Alt A, because the A in the active channels column is also underlined, so this tends to clash. So we'll press Alt I to toggle the inherit alpha off, and let's say I want to change the name of my layers. Change the name of the layers, you have to first activate the check mark, and then you can press Alt N. And let's say I want to call that FX. And Krita will rename both layers as FX plus a number to differentiate them. I can now press Alt O to press the OK button and to validate my change. Using a single window, so when you have multiple layers selected, you can press F3, press Alt I to toggle inherit alpha off, press the Enter key, and I will have effectively either unlocked or removed the alpha lock from the channels. I hope that this tip was useful for you. Enjoy it, try to incorporate it in your workflow, and see you in the next tutorial.